previously on the PV show. Hum. Ensure that the vibration is actually intense in your throat region and that means that your larynx is having the most effect of the resonance. Hum. Welcome back to the PV show and I'm your glad host Alexandra and I am super 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 glad that this show is actually being helpful to you because all the comments that we are getting all the practices that you are actually sending in the videos the audios my goodness I'm just glad that we are actually being of help to you that is good news so let's just continue from where we left off I'm sure you're getting your range sorted I'm sure you're taking in a lot of water I'm sure you are resting in enough and I'm sure you're also practicing the warm-up exercise now to what we have to do today but go nowhere I'll be right back welcome back to the PV show now before we go on to what we have to discuss for the day kindly hit that subscribe button right now hit it now okay to what we have to do today we would like to go through the various ways of clearing your throat right it is one of the things that is being very detrimental to the vocals of a lot of singers and that's because we often get it wrong how you go about the clearing of your throat is dependent on what is causing the obstruction or, or the phlegm disturbances. If whatever is causing it is just normal, it is nothing, nothing severe, just a normal walking around kind of distraction, this is what you do. You just grab a bottle of water, room temperature, but you drink it in huge gulps. You drink it with so much pressure so that as the pressure goes down your throat, it washes off the surfaces of the larynx. Now, if you are also in a room settings or in an atmosphere where you have access to heat, you may just want to heat up water just a little bit, just a tiny bit of temperature in there, and then you drink it. This time, you don't drink it in gulps. You drink it as though you're drinking your normal glass of water when you are thirsty. Also note this, if what is causing the obstruction is actually as a result of a chronic situation, probably you are recovering from a cough or a cold or any form of disease that is actually causing huge deposits of phlegms or obstructions in your throat. Now this is what you do this time around. You actually boil water, add a spoon of honey after the water is done boiling and then you squeeze in some lemon note not lime but lemon you squeeze in the fluid of lemon the juice of lemon into that solution and then you sip it now when you are sipping ensure that it doesn't rest on your tongue for too long if it rests on your tongue too long that means that by the time it gets into your throat it may have reduced in temperature and we, we will not be able to have that hot effect we have in your throat which is actually the essence of getting the obstruction out of your throat so if you are recovering from a disease that's what you do is boiled water with some honey and lemon also if what is causing the obstruction or the phlegm deposits is as a result of any oily food you ate or a greasy food you ate or any fat food you ate what i mean by fat food is actually food that has a lot of fat in there lots of margarine lots of grease lots of oil in there and then you probably are feeling some phlegm deposits after eating that food this is what you might want to do boil water and then you add honey to it however in both situations in both recovering from a disease and then in the situation of feeding when you are taking the boiled water you sip it 
while sipping ensure that it doesn't rest on your tongue for too long because we actually want that heat effect in your throat that is what is actually going to help in seeping out the phlegm from your throat so while sipping ensure that it doesn't sit on your tongue for too long but you actually channel all the sipping into your throat region so that the heat effect can be maximized in your throat region for the phlegms to be able to be washed off your larynx area now the last way of clearing your throat is actually a technique where you use a suction effect to suction out or seep out the phlegm from your larynx region it is when you actually try to push out air but the pressure is actually supposed to be in your larynx area to ensure that by the pressure effect you seep off the phlegm from the muscles of the larynx and this is how it is done <laughs> So, in a nutshell, when you want to clear your throat and it is just a passing obstruction or passing phlegm on a normal day, gulp your room temperature water with such pressure to wash down the larynx or you may want to warm water a bit and drink. If it is a chronic situation from a disease or you are actually reacting from an oily food you ate, you are boiling your water, you are adding your honey and in the case of the disease, you are adding lemon, not lime. And you are sipping it ensuring that it doesn't rest on your tongue for too long now before you run you may want to hit that subscribe button and if you want to join our mainstream sessions which is the aleph court vocal center sessions you may want to do that by contacting us on the number on the screen or by emailing us on the email address on the screen as well so until i see you again on the next episode my name is alexandra and it's the pv show next on the pv show I believe I can fly I believe I can touch the sky I think about it every night and day Spread my wings and fly away Like, really? Today I would like to discuss the subject Diction, go nowhere